Welcome to the show. Thank you. Such a beautiful crowd here. Wow. The pitches of the screams are not usually that high. <laughs> Although I feel you're used to that. Um, before we get into this movie in particular, is it safe to say that you are the least typecast actor in Hollywood? Because, like, oh. like if I think of all the movies that you're in, whether it's Uncut Gems, you know, where, whether, whether it's, like, Get Out. I mean, like, Get Out, like, that, that was an extreme feat of acting because you were playing a black man who was a white man at one point who used to be a black man. <laughs> That's powerful act. Not many people can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I appreciate it. Um, I, I would hope I was uh, the least typecast. Right. You know, actors, we, we don't like that. Right. You, you want to you be in as many different roles as possible, and that's something you've achieved. Do you, do you purposefully choose your scripts like that? So do you go, I'm going to go from one movie to another type? You don't just stay in one genre? Yeah, I kind of try to pick things that speak to me. Um, so, you know, as I grow, um, the kinds of things that I'm attracted to and affect me kind of uh, sort of expand. Right. So. Yeah, I just, I just try and be close to the things that, that mean something. And I've been very fortunate to be a part of a, a, a whole bunch of different kinds of uh, projects. Not, not, not many actors would take the chance of going into a rom-com, you know, because it's, 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 it's scary when you've gone from drama. Comedy's difficult, you know, romantic comedies. In many ways, people are saying, you're bringing them back now. You know, it's been like, mm. what, 15 years since we lived through the golden age of black romantic comedies, you know, thin line between love and hate, mm. with a, you know, like all those movies, love and basketball, et cetera. Right. You seeing on screen two amazing actors that people love. You know, it's yourself and Issa. Mm -hmm. is, is that part of the reason you chose the movie where you were like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, this is like for this generation now? It was. I, I wanted to see a uh, resurgence of dark skin love on, on, on screen. And so, yeah. yeah, so that was, that was a big part of it, but the story was written very well. I wanted right. to work with Issa. Um, I wanted to work with Stella. And so everything fell into place in a, in a nice way. You, uh, you've been called one of the mavericks of the red carpet just by people, you know, most people, most of us, when we're on a red carpet, we try and, and look, like, appropriate for the carpet, like, we're, like, stand up and do the... You, you <clears throat> have broken the red carpet multiple times. Like, you get there and you just do your own thing. You, you sat down, <laughs> see, like, you just sat there uh, at the Emmys, and then I think there was another red carpet where, yeah, you just came in, <laughs> right, in a, in a ski mask, right? And then one of my favorites is at the Joker premiere. You just showed up <laughs> as the... You... You don't take it. You don't take it seriously at all, do you? I don't get no. <laughs> Is there a reason? Uh, you just gotta be comfortable, man. You right. gotta do things your way, and you know you gotta enjoy yourself. I think is the most important thing. Sometimes it's a little bit too high strung and, and stressful trying right. to appease everybody. So you gotta have fun. And that one, my legs were just tired, so I sat down. Wait, your legs were tired. Like, just from standing on yeah, the Yeah, it was a lot of interviews. I was going up and down. I was like, let me take a seat real quick. Yeah. I like that about you, Lakeith. You just got this... You got the swag about you where you're just like, I'm just gonna do my thing. Yeah, you got to, man. It's too stressful trying to make everybody happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Issa's in the movie. She's one of the funniest people, both, like, scripted and off the cuff. Um, the two of you are, you know, you, you're playing back and forth together. I've always wondered this. When you are in a movie like this, is there a point where you find yourself, like, by mistake, falling in love? Because you, you're opposite. I've always, genuinely, I've always wondered that. Like, when, you, when you're in a romantic movie with somebody... Yeah, I think you're trying to design a connection that will translate on camera. So I think you're trying to get into a flow with the person and kind right. of break down the barriers of uh, what you don't know and, and, and tap into what you do know, which is uh, sort of a universal spirit. So that way, when the cameras come on, there's a natural thing going on. So, yeah, it's just rapport, breaking down the ice, cracking jokes, kicking back, you know what I mean, relaxing. And then when you get on screen, it looks like you guys have known each other. But, you know, there's different ways of chipping at it and getting at it. But I think the main best way to do it is just... Trust. Get in there. Trust fall. Go in naked, you know, emotionally, so to speak. I've heard, I've heard directors say about your acting specifically that what makes Lakeith special is that you don't care about what you look like on screen. Mm -hmm. You care about putting the character, you know what I mean, getting the character across. Yeah. You, you, you've been acting since you were, like, what, 14? Maybe even earlier in life? Yeah. Where do you, where do you develop that from? Where do you just wake up and go, like, no, I'm, I'm fully in this. I'm not Lakeith in this moment. I'm fully this person, and I don't care what I look like. I care what the person sees. I'm a little crazy. Um, <laughs> but also, I think it's, uh, you know, first of all, it's, it's appealing to the story. The story is the most important thing. Yeah. And then the characters come secondary. 
and what I look like really ain't got nothing to do with nothing. So I just kind of try to focus on the job and execute. Like that's the. But if I need to be worried about what I look like, then I'm worried. You know, it just, right, right, it just right. depends on what's necessary. Where where do you go from here? Because I mean, you've been in I guess like a thriller slash horror. You you've been in in action. You've been in like surreal dark comedies. You've been in romantic comedies. Where, where is there something you want to do that you haven't done? Is there like a dream project you have? Yeah, I think my dream project is the one I have coming out. Um, it's an untitled Fred Hampton project I did with Shaka King and Daniel Kaluuya, uh, my co-star. And it's just a beautiful story that's about this guy who really fought for our freedom and our love and our ability to, to love and express the way we want to. And those are the kinds of things I want to be a part of. If I can talk about something and say something and mean something when I got an option to, mm -hmm. that's what I want to do. So that's my kind of project. That's, that sounds amazing. That really sounds amazing. I'm excited to see you uh, in this movie. I'm excited to see what you do for the rest of your career. I've, I have money on you beating Samuel L. Jackson's record for the most movies. Oh, shit. I genuinely... <laughs> I, think, I think you might. That'd be fire. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show, my Pleasure, friend. Man. Great having you here. <laughs> the photograph will be in theaters February 14th. Valentine's Day, people. Lakeith Stanfield.